Hello, it's Wes with Barron Heating Company and BarronGreenTeam.com. I just want to show all of you typical uh, three-zone application for an existing force air house. This is going to be a fast and quick inside the house. I just want to uh, give you an idea of um, just a typical layout. So zone one, when you, know, you have your main thermostat. Now this is all uh, Honeywell Redlink. It allows us for wireless zoning application because you can put a transceiver on the zoning panel that just red links everything to it. So it's perfect for zoning. Uh, this is your main living area of a house. You know, you just have your typical uh, main spot. Maybe you got that in the, the hallway. Uh, back that way is the master suite, which we also uh, zoned. And then out this way, we just have the two, the bedroom wings. So we have bedrooms, bathroom, and then the uh, study slash entertainment center area. And we put a thermostat there. And this is all zoned as well. So super easy situation. And you would think, you know, a house that is this size wouldn't have such a huge temperature variant. But it when you can zone a home, when you can have what you want as far as comfort when it comes to cooling and heating in the bedroom, you know, these guys didn't want it to be you know the same temperature outside as it was inside and so i mean i'm sorry outside in the main area as it was in the master so this is the 18 lennox dave lennox signature series and as we added cooling at the same time i'm going to take you in to peek at what we did under here so these guys have a furnace in the crawl space and so what you're gonna see, let me grab all of this. So what you're gonna see is that we had to segregate the ductwork a little um, to feed everything. I'm not gonna show you all that because it's pretty boring, but what I will show you is things like, you know, when you're running zoning, you wanna have a bypass. So we, we created a bypass, we use the Honeywell static bypass, which allows us to dial in static pressure. Cause think about if, just those two bedrooms call because they're on the south side of the house and the AC comes on um, then the system is sized for the whole house so we need to bypass that air so what happens is that comes back around and goes in back into the return and mixes with the house air that's coming back in uh, so that the whole system can um, handle and, and bypass the extra volume and uh, cooled air that's gonna come through. Heating wise, I know like, you know, heating is the, the other part of this, which is fantastic, is that you're able then to also zone and keep track of, you know, the front room versus the master versus the main living area. So they're keeping their main living area at 70. They're keeping the bedroom wing during the day at 70 and they keep their master at 65 for heating. And then in cooling, it's just the opposite of that. Um, they're keeping the bedroom a little colder. They're keeping the main living area um, at X temperature. And then the bedrooms are wanting to be at the same temperature except for when they're not in there. So they have total control. It's all connected to the app and the phone. And so what you have here is our Wi-Fi panel. You don't see one of these installed upside down very often, but why not? It doesn't matter. And in this case, we have access to the uh, to service and the head and everything. So thinking a little outside the box. Um, but yeah, that's a system. Not super crazy, not uh, a nuts video of anything, but I just wanted to make sure I talked about it. So if anybody wants some information, it's out there. Thanks again.